Hi, I'm Ken Jake, and we're going to do another video now with, um, on replacing this lower half of the multi tailgate that GM has. And we got a dent right back here, so we're going to replace this piece right here. We had uh, in a previous video, yeah, we, um, we got backed into by a tractor, so we had to replace the bumper, which um, we've already posted on that how to take apart a bumper and replace that. So now we're going to do the lower half here. So, but anyway, there's no videos out there that I could see. So I'm going to do one on how to take this multi-use uh, tailgate apart. And uh, we're going to start taking everything here apart, the wiring harness. And we're going to take this top section off. We're just going to save that. And then we're going to replace this bottom half here. So um, we'll get started. All right, so I made this uh, little short um, tool here for pulling out these... Uh, knobs right down here you can see them I guess you can't really see it here I guess now oh yeah the camera can pick it up here all right so I took this tool here that I had in my toolbox and I needed something to pull out these plugs with and I took and slotted this here um, out so that I can get underneath these uh, clips right here and so I'm going to get underneath here like this with it lift it up a little bit with the screwdriver and get this underneath I guess I don't need a screwdriver works out pretty great so I'm going to do all these here like that that way I can save these clips I already wrecked one before I made this tool so this anyway you got to make yourself something that pull out these clips so you can save them okay I'm going to show you how to disconnect this connector on the end of the here so what you do is there's a little red thing right there you got to take and slide that up so I just slid it up and you push down in the middle push down right there and just pull it off there you go not that hard to do so I let uh, that part of the tailgate down right there the top part now I'm going to take and take these bolts off here and the uh, I'm going to have to figure out some way to support this tailgate. I might have to just, you know, take it off at this point. But right now, I'm just going to take the top part off. This is my plan. I'm going to take this this top part off right here. And that will lighten up, you know, I'll lighten up this piece here to, to take the rest of it off. Because we'll have... And so I'm underneath the truck right now. So what I did was I, I pulled this out from over here. So I could disconnect this. So the little red knob, you just push down and in and then pull it off and I actually broke it getting it off but uh, I should be able to get it back on and then I disconnected everything from up here and there and I pulled it through the top so this other one I took this loose too I took this loose from right there so I could get at that better and uh, the other plug is right up here that you disconnect you pull this red thing back and push down there and there's a big uh, plastic thing under you kind of push down and pull it out so anyway I just took all that out and pulled it out through that hole right there and through here so here it lays here's the video receptor I did break that little red thing on top of there. I think you're supposed to push down and in and then pull it out. And mine didn't want to do that. So that's what how I did on the bumper. It worked just fine. So so next thing I know, I got to get at uh, disconnecting the wire here that goes down into this top section of tailgate for the camera. So I guess one of these covers is probably going to have to come off where I can disconnect that wire and pull it out. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to go back and show you how to disconnect this connector. All right, one thing to keep in mind is that you've got to uh, take this tailgate down here. you got to release it down. I guess you can't really see it here. I'm underneath the truck. Uh, because once you unplug this, <laughs> you're not activating that button. So you take and peel this thing back here. You push. There's a little knob that you push down right here, then you peel this back like that 
and then you push down right there right here and then it'll it'll come apart all right so just put just slide this red thing forward and then push down on the tab right behind it and it'll come right off all right now i'm going to take uh all this uh, right here off So I just used the pliers uh, to put some more pressure down right here so I could pull it off and that worked just fine. Now I'm going to use my tool to take this off. I have to have the wiring harness free so it can be pulled off with the top piece and take everything off um, here on the main tailgate itself that we're going to replace. Alright, so I have uh, these out right here and the connector is all disconnected. And uh, on this side too. And what I'm discovering, there's pressure from this uh, cylinder right here. So you're going to have to disconnect that right there and pull it out. You can see that right there and pull it out before you take uh, the bolts out of the stick. I've already taken the bolts out, so I might have to put them back in, but we'll see. I'm going to try and pull that cylinder off. and I got something underneath there so I don't hit the back side of that on the bumper. On a receiver hitch and maybe I um, I couldn't get the screw loose to take the pressure off so maybe I'm just putting a weight on the tailgate right now until I get it off and we'll see what the next step is when you pull the connector off here make sure you're careful because uh, I got a little bit uh, uh, put too much pressure on it I cracked it right there a little bit so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that if I'm going to have to get a new piece or if I can glue that back down but uh, just be careful when you pull off the connector. Uh, I mean, off the this one right here. Make sure that you are very careful when you pull that off that you don't put too much pressure on this gear right here. Okay, so what I did was I popped this little clip off here off the top. It was right there, and I just got a screwdriver underneath. Uh, there's two little places right there on either side that you can take that off and just pop this little clip right off. I'm just setting everything right up here and then you just uh, pull just pull it right off so and you want to do it with this down because there's no pressure on that then I mean it just makes common sense okay so it's uh, straightened up uh, the tailgate and it's not coming out I got some more weight on top of there to hold it down so what I determined was uh, I folded this back down and I think I'm going to have to take these two bolts off right here. And on each side, these two bolts right here. And uh, just uh, take the bracket off and take the tailgate uh, straight down, straight down off of there. I think that's all it's going to come off. And you got to be careful you don't scratch the edge of it up here. Okay, here we are. I'm ready to take the tailgate straight down. So taking all them screws off there is allowing it to come down. I put one screw back in there. And I put one down lower here so that I can get at uh, this connector on the back side here. So you got to get it down low enough so you can get that off so you can feed the whole wiring harness down through there. Anyways, All right, what I did was I popped this piece here. I, I clipped the two wire ties off of there. And I was able to just uh, take this piece here and just work it up and out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the wiring harness all out here first before I can drop this tailgate off. And then clip the wiring harness off on the back side and I, and I also had to take uh, this off here. And then once I got uh, this here clipped, uh, the wire harness clipped off of there, then I could pull that plastic piece just, I pushed it up and out the other way. Now I got room to bring this whole wiring harness right out here. All right, well as soon as I got that wiring harness out, I uh, loosened the brace off of here to get the wiring harness all the way through here. And when I did that, um, I noticed I could just actually pull it right out. So I took and uh, loosened this side here too, and it just was able to work it. Being I had the bottom part loose, I was able to work it and just pull it right out. And I was sitting on this chair right here, so I could just set it right on my lap and not hit this bumper. And I had that uh, plastic in between there in my hand there so I was able to get it off 
There's the wiring harness. And just drag it right over here and set it right on top of my generator. Had a big blanket there and stuff. So everything got off, but no dents and no scratches. So we're half done. So anyway, I just left these brackets on there, even though they're not in the right places. But uh, when I put it back on, I'll just uh, go in reverse order. All right, so once I uh, loosen up these hinges on, uh, on this uh, tap tailgate side, I was able to... Um, just uh, take this top tailgate just right off without taking these brackets, you know, totally off. I just left them bolted to the side, but they were loose. Once they were loose, I could just pull these right out of the main tailgate. All right, so here's another short clip, uh, the clips that are on the back side of this. And they're, um, so I was able to get inside here and with a, with this wrench right here. Uh, needle nose pliers a little bit a little bit of reach in the curb on I was able to get it off and uh, getting a screwdriver in the, up in the corner up in here was quite a quite a challenge anyway but there's is tape on it there's double face tape on it here so back of that and then this one here I just uh, took and squeezed it with a needle nose plier very carefully and was able to get it off without hurting it Okay, the tailgate came off really easy, so I just took that weight off there and took the straps off right there and just left them connected to the truck right there. And all I did was uh, bring that up at that angle right there and pull that straight out and just had to be a, a far enough away from there, but the tailgate was pretty straight, but enough to clear these pieces here. There's pieces on the tailgate that hook into there, but as long as you could clear them, it just uh, it just pulled off really easy. Okay, we lifted the tailgate back in place. That was a piece of cake, actually, and it actually came with its own pieces. You don't have to even take the old ones off. And you don't have to loosen that, that spring-loaded bolt. All right, so I just uh, snapped those pieces right in. I used uh, some silicone in the back side of that tape. Here's what I used. Some some the good stuff okay so being that uh, we learned how to take it apart going back together is pretty easy so I just sat down again in my little um, footstool there and held uh, this piece here in place the top piece of the tailgate and just lined up all the bolts I could see where they were before the washer so I just got that all fed in there I, I fed back the wiring harness there of course only thing is this tailgate didn't come with little clips in here for putting down the the plastic mat that goes that screws over that so i'll have to get some of those clips i can show you what that looks like so when you if you do this yourself you're gonna have to get the these clips right here i guess maybe i can i'll try to take them out maybe i can just take them out and so anyway we have uh we have the wiring harness all laid out. Now we'll start uh, putting the inside latches in there for the top gate. All right, so on the right side here, I'm gonna uh, try to put this piece here back in. And I started a couple wire ties right there that I'm gonna put in and then I'm gonna slide that piece uh, right down into place. So like I say, just in the reverse order that we're putting this back together. This other side here is all back in place here. And I have that um, clip put on the, right here. Have this clip put back in place. So that's, um, that were folks a little bit better. That was kind of hard getting that back on there, but I just used the needle nose pliers and got it started and got it on there. So that one's all ready to go. All right, before I hook this um, side back up here too, I, I took in, uh, took some JB Weld and uh, strengthen up that piece on all the way around and all that piece is actually is just it holds the clip on top there it doesn't um get it. all it does is uh, strengthen this clip um, the part that pushes on it right here uh, was not cracked it was just the top piece here so i feel okay that it, it's going to be okay but when you take uh when you take a neck uh, clip off of there just make sure that you uh, hold on to this and when you pull it out so you don't uh, stress this out because it cracked pretty easy so anyway 
Mine just cracked a little bit, so I just strengthened it up a little bit before I put it back in. But again, it does not affect the part down here that's pushing on it. That piece is solid. You can see it's underneath there. So we're good. And again, uh, this piece here, uh, you do not have to take that loose. That's preset. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where that's the first thing to do is take that off. That's uh, You don't have to take that off because that's set from the factory. Just leave it there. All you do is rotate this tailgate up and then this piece here will come slide right out to the slot. So you don't have to take that uh, off. And I'm going to do a, a separate video on how to take a tailgate off when I get done with this so that uh, there's a lot of mis misinformation out there and you're just creating yourself a headache. So. Okay, so we're getting ready to put this side in and then we're going to push this clip back down on here. I guess I need to put this camera up on a tripod here again. And then we're going to stick it back in there. I guess if we noticed from the beginning, we uh, started on this end and we'll work it down and get it back into place. All right, so I got it back in there. Uh, on this side here, I took this piece right here. Let me get this thing to focus here. I stuck this thing all the way up front here and forced it down in to get it to um, go down in. It wouldn't, I couldn't get it back here like I did on the other side. So now I got this tightened up. I can push this on right here. And I can plug this in right here. Now that I got it in place, there. And then we'll slide this red clip forward and that locks it into place. All right, now we'll start putting that in. But on this side down here, this piece here goes on right there. And it, I looked at my previous video, it was at the same angle as what this is here. So hopefully that will line up on when we shut the gate, we'll find out. So we got this side all ready to go here too, except for this. Stick this back into place now too and lock the clip there. All right, so that's all done in there. And also I got this uh, piece here back into place. And there's a, a place there too that you uh, put the clip back in there. I'll get this to focus a little bit there. You pop that clip in there. And I got those wire ties um, tight there on the other side. So that's all good to go. So now we just got to pop this wiring harness back. Well, no, first we're going to... Now we're going to hook it up, um, hook it, the power up to the truck and see if this uh, gate shuts and everything is All right, uh, so lined now I'm up back here underneath the truck. And you can see where the wires come through up here. And you're just going to pop these things right in place as you come along. And you can see where I need to plug this in here. And then the video thing too, and then once I get the video thing, I'm going to pop it back into place over here. And then I'm going to put this this here back in place up here too. Right now I just pulled this out of the way so it's easier to get at. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going to snap that all back into place. And then I'll, I'll take a video when I get down here. Okay, see if you can see this video here now. So there's the wire coming out of there right there so I put a clip right back in there I put the other clip right there there's another one that gets clipped back on the side right there and then I ran the, I connected everything right here I pulled this thing here back and once I got it snapped into place then that goes forward and locks it right there so it locks it, you post this white thing back here and it locks it right there. Now, therefore, when you're taking it apart too, you just grab this and pull that back. And then you can push down, pull that red clip back and push it down and get it out. In fact, there, I had to push the red clip back in to lock it, everything back into place now. And this uh, video lead here, so I, I couldn't get that thing off. That red, usually you push them in and push forward a little bit. That one wouldn't do it. So what I what I did now was I just wire tied it. Get this to focus a little bit better. I put a little zip tie right in there. It went right through that gray thing. Right there. So I was able to just get that locked right together. So hopefully that should take care of that. And then I'll take and just snap this back into place over here.
there so that's snapped back into place and I'll, I'll cut that little thing off there and now I'll take and uh, put this back into place here too that goes right there there everything's back ready to go now we can try the tailgate out and see if it opens and closes the top. there it is everything actually fits pretty good I haven't checked all my seams yet but it looks like it's right on the money and uh, Look at that. Everything fits in there just right. And uh, I'm going to snap it back up into place. Everything fits. Then we'll hit the bottom knobber and take the whole tail bit going. There's the whole tailgate. It came down kind of fast, so. Maybe I, maybe this, uh, maybe I have to tighten up that thing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it came down kind of fast, so we'll have to check out to see what's going on with that. Might be one more adjustment on that. But anyway, I'm going to snap the wiring harnesses back into place and take another video when we're done. All right, so I got a little bit of a gap in the door, too much on this side when I look at here. I'm off a little bit so I got to move the tailgate over that much you can kind of see where the mark is right there so I'm going to take a white marker here too and mark along here because I need to close the gap up a little bit there too and so I'm going to I'll mark it and then I'll look over here too and you can see that I need to come over that way a little bit here too and get the gaps right and then maybe go up just a hair so I'm going to mark it up here too so I can get it up just a hair and then we'll be right on the money and also I had to adjust uh, this piece right here I had adjust it up a little bit so that the tailgate would shut a little bit farther than it lasts right away uh, the first time I did it didn't I had to push it in the latches so that's uh, kind of your adjustment your stop right there for adjusting for shutting your tailgate so we're close we'll just get this dialed in all right so I got uh, these pieces adjusted a little bit I made myself a white line up there probably can't see much you can see a little bit of pencil mark there and I kept uh, I took the tailgate over to my left here a little bit and also adjusted this side over here so now when I uh, shut the tailgate it's uh, set it up here we got a straight edge here straight edge goes right across there so now we now have the tailgate the same height that gap there is better now move that over a little bit it looks pretty uh, symmetrical so I think uh, I think we got it but there's our project we had the bumper done and we had the tailgate done and the paint we didn't have to paint the top piece we just uh, went with uh, this piece here and it matched absolutely perfect so uh, I think in most cases you're not if you ever damage the lower part of your tailgate I don't think you're gonna have to uh, redo this and put new letters on I told myself it's just a tailgate <laughs> I'm ready to put the inside pieces back on figured out that too when you take these tailgates off you do not have to loosen the screw up here it's a set up against the flat side and the torsion bar I guess I just used weights here I guess if you didn't want it to go down if you wanted to work on it without weights you could loosen this up I guess but then the main thing is just to make sure you stick this black plastic piece from the old tailgate back into this new one and then it'll go down nice and slow so as you can see we have it all the wiring done everything's in place I made a special tool to take them out everything went back in nice 
And so when you do this tailgate, kind of starting off at the beginning, what you do is you um, put everything down. You have your tailgate apart like that, completely apart like that, and then you disconnect the the wiring harness from underneath the truck here. You do not have to take the spare tire off on an HD 3500. There's plenty of room to get at it. And pull this out. Pull all these rivets, I mean all these um, keepers here off. I made a tool that you saw to take them off with. Do it really carefully so you can reuse them. This one here broke so I drilled a hole right through the middle of it and put a um, zip tie on it. But first you take off the inside here and you roll that out. I guess you could take this side off too, but uh, anyway, you just take both these off, take all your wiring harness out, and you pull your wiring harness through here like you, like I showed. And when you take this lower section off, you know, not only did I take these nuts off here, these bolts, I mean, these bolts here, and then this uh, spring-loaded clip right there on the on the cylinder here, um, I couldn't really get it out until I loosened up all these here. But uh, Mark where it is on your tailgate if you want and I, I did that afterwards to line everything up then I was just sitting down here in the stool and lifted the whole thing out of my lap and pulled the wiring harness out through here and set this piece off I mean it was actually uh, it's uh, not that bad to do I told myself when I started it's just a tailgate right <laughs> don't be intimidated by it I'll just start working on it and and it was uh, it wasn't that bad so anyway, just take some good pictures, like on here where this uh, bump stops are. They're coming at an angle, the same angle as this. And just little things like that so you remember how to put it back together. All right, so now I'm going to put the, these plastic pieces back here on. i got to put the little clips. i got the little clips right here. Put them back in the holes here and uh, screw everything back on. All right, and there we have the finished project. All the screws are... Tied back down, screwed back down. Everything's tight. Then we're done with the inside of this package. As you can see, I have this uh, last spot um, storage thing in the back of my truck. It's attached by a hook back there and a strap, and I absolutely love it. I can put my golf clubs back there. I can put my trailer stuff back here. And when you want to put something heavy and you just, you just pull it out like that, and it's easy to get stuff in and out of your back of your truck. The straps hold it in place, coming out. And uh, it's just real easy to take things in and, out of, in and out of your tailgate. When you get done, you just push it back. You can adjust the strap of how far you want it back, but it's just nice to store stuff so it doesn't roll all the way in front of the truck. I, I was a, one of the best decisions I made as far as storage in the back of my truck here. So I have a bumper pull camper that I pull so that way um, you know I don't have to use the fifth wheel and open up this and I can use this whole thing for storage and put my uh, honey wagon up there in front when I'm going on places that don't have a, a dump station or don't have a hookup for the trailer most of them got dump station but anyway tailgates done um, except for uh, my Denali letters which I have an order from the dealer and what you do for them is you uh, you measure the old tailgate and you lay tape across here that's level and then you get it to the right height where it's going to be and then what we need to do is to center it or just center the decal here on the M and come down so that it's centered on this GMC and then you'll be set. Um, so that's the last thing I got to do but you don't need a video to know how to do that so if you have questions about that just take your body shop. But very pleased how this tailgate turned out. The paint matched perfect. You know, it depends what angle you look at it. But you look at it on top, it's an absolute perfect match. All we did was paint the bottom half of the tailgate and replace that. So anyway, I hope you guys never have to experience that. But if you do, don't be afraid to take it apart. After all, it's just the tailgate. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, click and subscribe if you like this. Um, thank you very much. God bless. Have a good day.